So, we're going to do a uh, leak down test here on a Volkswagen diesel with the homemade um, leak down tester. We've got the pressure regulator, um, a little uh, restrictor here um, with the pressure gauge on the other side of the restrictor, and then just a shut off valve to make it easier to uh, get it connected up and centered. The trick um, with doing a leak down test is having the uh, cylinders at the top dead center <coughs> and of course calibrating your gauge to um, um, whatever scale you're going to use. 100 is what most people use. So first of all we're going to connect it up here to the airline. And uh, you can see here we have 100 uh, PSI and you adjust the, uh, the setting here. You see that goes up or down. And 100 is a good number because you can get a 0 to 100 percent scale on uh, what your um, low down is. Now we've set this up to the top dead center by using a um, wrench on the um, timing uh, pulley here um, to bring it up to top dead center and basically it's getting the two lobes of that second cylinder, which is the one we're doing presently, at the top. I've removed the, uh, the injectors from the other cylinders as well in order to make it easy to rotate it. Some people leave them in in order to provide a greater level of uh, resistance against the pistons turning from the air pressure. I, however, think that you really want to make sure you've got it at top dead center. And the only way to really know that for sure is um, when it doesn't, when the compressed air doesn't turn the cylinders. So in theory, we're set up there right now. So we're just going to turn this on and slowly build up the pressure in there. And so there we can hear air pressure going out. We can see the gauge has gone from 100 to about, uh, um, it's just not a very good scale on here. Uh, that would be 75 would be the next red mark, so it would be about 80, about 95. So that's dropped 15% on that one cylinder. And you can listen now carefully to where it is that the air is coming from. And it mostly sounds to me like it's coming from the oil case. You can check the other pistons. You can check the air intake. You can check the exhaust. I did that earlier. Um, you can also check the fluid level here. You see whether or not there's bubbles coming up here, or which there's not. It's all a good thing. All of those would indicate some additional problem with the engine. So here we've got our uh, leak down tester hooked up again onto uh, piston number three. We've got our wrench on here to rotate that around. Um, to bring the um, to top dead center on that number three piston, and I've been using the um, the cam lobes on the uh, cam shaft to determine where that is, um, because when the cams are at the highest point, that in theory is top dead center. And that should be about there. We've taken the wrench off because when you pressurize this, um, it's possible for it to uh, rotate the engine is why you want it to top dead center. And um, I don't like to lock the uh, engine in place because that isn't necessarily going to be where the top dead center is. And when it's at top dead center, the air pressure in the cylinders will not rotate the engine. So we're just going to pressurize it now and see if we've got it at the top dead center. If we don't, you'll notice the engine will rotate. There you see. So you heard it rotate there. And an exhaust valve opened up and indeed all the air pressure was lost out of that cylinder. So we're just going to rotate that back again. It's a little tedious sometimes, you're going to do it a couple times. And even with 100 PSI in there, you can see that that's uh, quite a bit of compression that you've got to crank against. So that looks to me about top dead center there. So let's just try that again. Um, let's uh, get this calibrated here. Notice how that dropped down. Um, it's the finicky part of it. You want to set that to a hundred, so it's kind of balanced out, and then we'll pressurize this. There we go. So what we're seeing there is um, is almost zero, which um, is interesting. We had that once before on one of the other cylinders. And um, so we just kind of reset it. Let's get that calibrated back to where it should be. Give it a burst of air. 
just to let it fill back up. You really want to take your time here and make sure that um, you really know what's, what's up. And I'm just bursting that just to make sure that comes to 100 PSI, which is your 100% reading. Really, you've got 100% pressure coming in there. So now when I open that up, yeah, that's better, you see. It's now dropped down to um, uh, about 85, which is um, about a 15% pressure loss. And that's what we've been noticing on all of the cylinders. Um, so that's 100% reading there certainly looks suspicious and I think that's got to do with the relationship between the pressure and it's not being balanced. There's a tiny little one millimeter orifice in there that's been drilled in which is, uh, I can explain that later, um, one millimeter orifice in there that allows the air to flow through and give you the pressure differential here. So that's pretty consistent there now, 85 psi. So that, turn, that balances out to about a 15% pressure loss. And it typically sounds to me like it's coming through the uh, crankcase as opposed to the exhaust or the air intake valves. Back to uh, check uh, cylinder number four. We've uh, put the hose with the uh, modified injector on the end of our leak down tester. We've set it to 100 psi um, at the, um, past the orifice. And uh, so we're just going to open that up. And you can see you get a momentary drop in pressure as it pressurizes the cylinder, and it's returned to about um, 85 psi. So we get about a 15% loss on this cylinder. And by listening, you can hear where that air is going, and it kind of sounds to me like it's coming up out of the uh, crankcase. So that's blow by on the um, on the uh, piston rings. So, we've got our uh, leak down tester connected this time to uh, piston number one. And we're just going to rotate the, uh, the uh, timing flywheel with a wrench to get that to top dead center. And I just watch for the uh, lobes to come up on that piston to indicate when it's at top dead center. And we need to rotate that one quite a ways around this time. So you get the idea. Bring those lobes up. And of course you can feel the resistance as well when it gets to top dead center. You want to remove the wrench just to make sure that uh, if you haven't got it exactly at top dead center that it doesn't rotate around. And so we're going to pressurize that now a bit and see what happens. So you can see there the engine rotated indicating that we did not have top dead center. So we're just going to push that back and try that again. A little tricky. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get it exactly right, but it does need to be exactly right. So here we'll pressurize again. And there we go, we've got a good position there now. So there we uh, open the valve up and let it balance out and it comes up to 85 psi which is indicating a 15% loss on that cylinder. So we'll just close that, it comes back up to 100 psi, open it up and it creeps up to about 15 ps, 15%. And again checking for where the air is coming from. Sounds like there's a little bit of a leakage on um, the uh, air intake valve on this one. But again, all four cylinders are about 15%. So it's indicating that they equally have as much wrong with each other and it seems to be predominantly leaking into the uh, crankcase. So um, there we have it. That's 15%. Uh, just show that to you one more time. 100% pressurized, so you balance it out with the regulator to get that to where you want it. Open that up, see where it settles out to. About 15 psi down for a 15% loss. There you have it.